What's up, tubers? It's your boy Itchy, and I've got a special unboxing for you tonight. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is a turtle van, and I'm telling my age a little bit with this particular product. But for some of you guys that are 80s babies, and if you are an 80s baby, you know what I'm talking about. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were like the best show ever back for us in that particular time. Uh, this was after He-Man and this was after um, the Thundercats and G.I. Joe and Transformers were still kind of floating around. But this is one of the few cartoons where people can say they actually, if you were from the early 80s to mid 80s to late 80s, this particular cartoon and the action figures were something that was all yours. and. The 80s kids are the only people that can relate to this. So, when I found out that the full collection of the original TV show was coming out on DVD, I had to get it. And I just want to kind of walk through some of the box art with you. As you can see, um, it was produced by uh, Fred Wolf Films. And this is the complete classic series. This ain't that new stuff that these kids looked at in the last 10 years. This is the original stuff. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all can sing along. But this is cool because it's got all this disc and it came in a neat little turtle van. Now, as a kid, I had the turtle van toy, so that's even more nostalgia for me. Um, here's a cool shot on the side of all the turtles. My favorite was Leonardo. And just so y'all know, I ain't no pretender. You got Donatello, Leonardo. Then you got uh, Raphael. And you got Michelangelo. And Michelangelo, I'm sorry, is on top. And Raphael right there. And... Michelangelo is the big pizza head, even though they all like pizza. And I don't see Master Splinter. Maybe he's somewhere else. Uh, if we flip it to the top, uh, you've got them all here again. And what was cool about them, and when I had the action figures as a kid, I would take the belts off and put different belts on different turtles just to mix it up, even though the belt didn't match the bandana. But, or oh, excuse me, the, the mask. But, you know, that was just, that, that was something I did uh, because I had, like, six or seven different styles of the same toys because turtles were cool like that you'd have all these different versions of the same uh actual action figures so if you look here you pop the top off and you've got all the actual uh discs in here this is not blu-ray i don't believe i'm pretty sure it's not and that's okay because you know this is 20 years old so i expect it to be what it is a, a, a great uh show from my childhood um, you, anyway, you pop the top, split it up, you see all the discs inside, and they just go in and tell you about this being the complete uh, collector set. Enough of me babbling on. Let's open this box and see what we got here. I'm excited. I've been waiting all day. You guys have no idea um, how long I've waited to open this up for you. Uh, I'm probably like not going to play any Black Ops or anything else for however long it takes me to watch these I am so excited cuz this is this is like great for me let me know if any of you guys decided to go and pick this up cuz I am very interested to know and if and as you can see I'm taking my time unboxing this I'm not like ripping into it like I normally do cuz this for me is like the holy grail of unboxings alright when you pop as you can see here, when you start to open it, or actually, let's pull this piece out first. And let's go piece by piece. There's like this little, it looks like a picture book here. And it's not raised or anything, but it is color printed. And it just goes through, and this is basically the catalog that tells you what's on each individual disc. And there are a lot of discs. They said 23 and 23 it is so there is a lot of stuff they were I didn't realize as a kid that there were 10 seasons but apparently they were and the cool thing about it is is now if there's any episodes that I missed in between uh, I'll get opportunity to uh, see them now here's the top of the turtle van and you know me I always have to find something to gripe about it would have been cool if this would this little top wing fender wing whatever you want to call it would have been rotatable so I could tilt it up and stuff on the car and this one could have been adjustable too but this is nothing more than a glorified uh, DVD case and you've got all four turtles again no splinter no shredder no crane to bring no bebop and rock steady so but you know we'll be alright without them I'm sure we'll see plenty of them in the actual series 
Alright, let me pull the rest of the actual disc set out. And these discs are in here completely but Buddha ball naked. There's no other cases on here. So I have to be very careful with this case. Um, as you can see, when you look down in here, there's just little thin slots that you drop the disc in once you're finished. And it's on to the next one. And it is kind of like felted, so it won't scratch your disc, so that's cool. But the discs go in order, each with its own individual art. I'm not going to go through all of them. But the you've got one this one in front obviously then it goes uh, succinctly in order so that's it let's see who's on the last disc I always like to check that out Michelangelo cool alright let me see what else there is make sure I put that back in there right they sit in there pretty sturdy and I'm gonna push this back oh it rolls so that's cool just to let you guys know there's nothing else in the box so we can actually move it off to the side and the cool thing that I like about this is this does roll. I'm going to put the top on and make it an actual turtle van. Ta-da! <laughs> now, I don't know where I put this at because it's kind of an odd shape to go on my, on my uh, shelf with the rest of my discs. But I really like it. Heroes in the Half Shell. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It'd also be nice. Let me see. Maybe on the bottom there is. Nope. It'd also be nice if these lights worked on here. I mean, this thing runs like it was on sale when I got it for 50 bucks, but it runs, I think it's advertised as high as $79.99, and I've seen it on eBay up upwards of $100. So it'd have been nice for that price to have a few more extras, but I'll take this in the day of the week. You know, would have been nice versus what you have here is really cool. And the fact that it rolls speaks volumes too. So that's it guys, this is the collector's edition of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon from the 80's and all 23 discs for your viewing pleasure. If you're a Turtles fan or a nostalgic cartoon fan, definitely pick this one up because you will not be sorry. Like this video, subscribe, uh, comment, down to hear what you think about this. That's all I got for this one, more unboxings on the way, peace.